We have a Treasury Minister who's joined us, Justin Greening. Welcome Hello, to the hi. BBC bubble here at our live coverage from Manchester of the Tory conference. What does credit, credit easing mean in terms of policy? Effectively, it means us channeling more money through to small and medium-sized companies who at the moment are finding it far harder than big companies, for example, yep. to access capital to invest in their businesses. I understand the problem. What is the policy mechanism by which you would do that? Well, Nick's explained there's a number of different ways in no, which... No, no, I want you to explain. <laughs> there are he's, a number he's just like me, a journalist. You're the minister. What will you do? There are a number of different ways we can make sure money gets through to companies. We can issue bonds, for example. We can also uh, effectively purchase private sector assets or, or What help. do you mean, issue bonds? What I mean is, at the moment in the States, there's a very uh, vibrant market in this area where you see not just big companies as we see here who are able to sell bonds into the market and then have them traded in a secondary market that doesn't happen so much in the UK so what we want to do is go beyond simply the the quantitative easing if you like that the Bank mm. of England's doing but to have some of that perhaps more targeted so we're looking at a variety mm. of different ways we can so, do that. I, I know that I'm trying to give me a policy that follows this principle. Well will be setting those out over the coming months but, but you they must can have some they can options. they can in, absolutely they can they can involve I mean, us doing it in different so number of ways we can we can either actively um, actively put bonds out there ourselves we can well, underwrite we can, we can underwrite other debts that are, that so, companies want so there's a different variety of different ways we can do this so so okay, we'll can I, this is very interesting so the government would issue bond government obviously already issues a lot of bonds at the moment they're mainly bought, being bought by the bank of england if you go back to printing money but the government would issue bonds more bonds so it would add to government borrowing no it wouldn't. No, because it, actually the, the assets that you would be purchasing effectively are liquid ones, so therefore it wouldn't be part but of that. But you still borrow. You're borrowing to, to produce no. money. What would you do with the money? Well, at the moment, we already, government is already issuing gilts as part and parcel of its no, normal business. I, I do business. know that, what Minister. Saying, what would you do with these bonds to help small businesses? Well, part of that money, what we're saying is, is at the moment, government already issues gilts. What we're saying is part of that funding would then be more channeled than it is able to be at the moment through to the small and medium-sized companies who can most benefit from it. At the moment, if you're, if you're an SME in the UK, you're probably going to have to go to a high street bank to be able mm. to do any borrowing. What we're saying is we want to, working as a government alongside the Bank of England, create some new channels by which small and medium companies can go more to the market and perhaps in part from government too be able to access liquidity. So would you or would you not be issuing more bonds to do this? Would you be borrowing more to do it? No, we, we would be purchasing bonds. So, so effectively what we're going to be doing in part is one of the options. So the government would buy bonds? No, what, what, what we're saying... But you just said that. No, what I said was we would be looking at a number of different ways in which to make sure we were able to better get finance through... Look, Minister, I, I accept the principle, and it's a very important one, and the reason why I'm, I'm going on at this is because Mr Osborne, rightly or wrongly, has said there's no leeway on fiscal policy. I'm sticking to the deficit right. reduction plan. There will not be a stimulus there. But he talked about monetary activism and he talked about credit easing. Now, we know one of the ways of doing that is... QE is printing more money. Let's park that. That's a matter for the Bank of England. Correct. You think you've created conditions that can allow the bank to do that if it so wishes, and the implication I get is you would like the bank to do that. What I'm trying to work out is what else does it mean and what way would you act to help small businesses get money? Well, as I've been saying, it can take the form of, for example, underwriting providing guarantees in a way that we don't do at the moment. So there would be also... a state, if I was a small business and I wanted to borrow money, say from the bank or wherever, you would guarantee that debt? That, that's, that's one of the options that we've got to be able to deliver this mechanism. Another one... Would you ask for any... To... Would that be um, uncovered debt or would you ask for something to cover the state guarantee? Well, would I have to put something up? Well, obviously, you, you're, you're getting an My asset, house. if you like, in return in relation to what, what it's secured on. But the bottom line is it's a liquid asset, so therefore it wouldn't be part of our debt. And the other thing I would say is, the other part of this is, is about 
creating a longer-term okay. secondary market. If you're a big company in the UK, you can already issue bonds. No, no, I understand. You've said trade. that, but, Minister. No, but the point I'm making is but quite but, important. But, but, but because big companies don't have to issue bonds in this country because they're sitting on a massive cash pile. As, as the Chancellor said in his speech, that's not the issue. And we've had the Director General of the CBI sitting in the studio admitting that companies are awash with money, they're not investing. What I'm trying to get to and I'll, I'll, I'll let you answer and stop interrupting you, is how credit easing, in your mind, will help small businesses and what you intend to do? It will mean that they don't just have to rely on high street banks to provide them with So what with will cash. they do? So we, we are developing a number of different ways. One is underwriting, one is providing guarantees, one is actually going out there and making sure that we work with the Bank of England to see some of that quantitative easing go more directly to, to businesses than it does at the moment. And those plans are being worked up over the coming weeks. George will make more of a statement at but the November autumn statement. But I think it's good news for businesses in the sense that at the moment, if you're a big company, you can go out to the market, you can trade your, your debt in the secondary market. That's just not possible for small and medium-sized enterprises. What we're doing is creating in the long term, this is the point I did want to make, mm -hmm. the kind of market that we see operating more in places like the US. The, the, the London Stock Exchange does actually have a very small market in this at the moment. What we want to do is look at what, what we can do to create that market into I'm, a bigger I'm, one than And are you telling me that if the government guarantees small business borrowing, you will not be adding to the government's debt obligations? Yes, in the nature, of, in the nature of the assets, uh, they will be liquid and therefore, as a result, so, they will not be going on the balance sheet. So why did you criticise the previous Labour government for not putting PFI on the balance sheet? Because that was a totally different form of illiquid commitment that one, mm. as we've seen, governments cannot get out of. So why have, you not put P, why have you not then, since coming into power, put PFI onto the balance sheet? Well, well, in fact, we are looking at producing at the moment something called the whole of government accounts. It's the first mm. set of consolidated accounts which will show these uh, mm. PFI liabilities on the balance but sheet. And you'll be aware as well that one of the first things the OBR did was to look at the overall position of UK mm. finances, including debt and the, the balance sheet side of our finances, which then included PFI okay. and, of course, as you remember, public sector pensions liability, which is another thing the Chancellor okay. talked Nick, about today. Nick Robinson, what did you make of the overall politics of, uh, of this? Uh, a fiscal stimulus is something everyone can understand. You know, it's the government spends more money, it builds more roads, builds more railways, builds more hospitals. I think a lot of people will be wondering what this credit easing really means. I don't think down the dog and duck around the water cooler is going to be a big, <laughs> lively conversation, Philip. But the truth is, that's what he's decided to do. George Osborne is saying to the public, if I did what some people are telling me to do, mm -hmm. which is spend more money or cut taxes on borrowed money, your interest rates would go up. Therefore, you're forced to have a conversation mm -hmm. about something. Now, clearly, we'd either have the figures nor the mechanism for this new so-called credit easing, more loans for mm -hmm. small businesses. Until we do, nobody can really judge whether it's a good thing or a bad thing or what difference it will make. But he, in a sense, has said to the country, I'm not budging, mm -hmm. but don't assume that means I'm doing nothing. Now, that's fine until growth figures come in that contradict that. If he gets another set of growth figures, remember we'll get those in early November. Very soon, yeah. If we get borrowing figures revised down, uh, revised up, I'm sorry, but revised down in the sense of the hopes of the government, uh, you will have more pressure on the Chancellor to abandon his current plan and to do more. Pressure from the right and from the business community to cut taxes, pressure from some in the Liberal Democrats and certainly the Labour Party to spend more overall, including on a temporary tax cut. So in a sense, okay. this is... This is not resolving anything today. What it said is, I stick to my plan. Let's All hope right. it works, he says. Two very quick questions. I'd, if I'm a small businessman and I want to borrow, say, £3 million and the government to expand my business, and the government says, we'll guarantee that, what, will you demand some collateral for me for that, that guarantee? Well, we'll, as Nick says, over the coming month, we will work out the precise routes by which we think we can best so you don't... get... No money yet. through to, well we're developing this as a proposal well, you made the, well you've been in power for 18 months yeah, we made the announcement and you're right and this is something that hasn't been done in this okay. country before but we'll take the time to make sure we get it right for All different right. companies they'll want to use different aspects come, of credit easing come back when you've worked it out let me finish with a pop quiz who said in January 2009, quote, printing money is the last resort of desperate governments when all other policies have failed who said that 
I think I know who said that. Well, that's why I'm asking you who did. I'm going to guess it was George Osborne, the Chancellor. It was indeed. You have won the pop quiz. And has anything changed? Is it so you're desperate by this definition? No, I don't. I don't well, agree printing, at you want all. To print more money. I think George set up very clearly right. that we have a plan to tackle the deficit, okay. but we need to make sure money goes we into the economy to, for and business. Uh, that's